Here with redshirt freshman safety Demario Drew. How are you? I'm pretty good. How you doing? Real good. So hey, man, you made a really nice play out there. That might have been the defensive play of the game on that interception. Can you talk a little bit about what happened there? Uh, I mean, I'm just coming out to practice, uh, trying to recover from my injury. I just came off the of surgery, so I'm just out here every day trying to get better. And uh, I mean, we're in there in the meeting rooms, working hard, just trying to get everything going right. Coach Stu's getting this right, so you know, I just read the ball and came down on it. And, uh, glad I came up with the interception. So how did your injury happen in this ring? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it was one particular play. I think it was just like uh, just running around a lot. It was a stress fracture in my shin. So, I mean, they just saw the bone late and they saw a little crack in it. So they just uh, went in so I wouldn't have to miss any extra time. And, you know, the rehab process has been coming along real good. And I'm almost back, just little pains in my knees. But it, it went well. What kinds of things did you do for rehab to get back to where you are now? Uh, I mean, Cal has so many options. You know, they got the uh, the pool where you can run in. They got a, a chamber where it lifts up some of your body weight so it doesn't put all the pressure down on your legs. And, you know, just getting in there, getting uh, strengthening my leg back up since I wasn't able to walk on it for a couple months. And, you know, just the training staff is incredible here and just got me back real fast. Now, a lot of you guys are, are coming back a lot faster than it was projected. Uh, Darius at, at uh, cornerback and Sione at defensive end, guys that people thought may miss the whole season or are back already at the beginning of camp. The facilities must have something to do with that, like you're mentioning. Do you, do you really sense that uh, the technology behind all the different rehab avenues you have is, is really something that, that's speeding up the process for you? Yeah, I definitely think uh, the facilities have a big thing to do with us getting back so fast. I mean, just uh, I came on a visit a couple of um, my freshman year, I mean my senior year in high school, and just to see what the facilities look like now, is, it's incredible. I mean, uh, we got the cold tubs, we got the incredible training room, and you know, all the trainers are on the same page trying to get us back as soon as possible, and we're all working for the same goal, trying to get back on the field as soon as we can, and I, I mean, it's just been great. So you're in a position group that probably has more um, opening for early playing time than, than any on the roster at safety. Um, so how far? How do you feel like you've done so far in these first three days of practice to get yourself in the mix to see some playing time? I mean, um, I still got a lot of work to do. You know, I got to work on my, my footwork a lot and just getting there, meeting with Coach Stu. But um, I mean, I, I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, um, I came along a lot of uh, long way since spring ball because you know Coach Stu's been on us, drilling us, backpedaling a lot of drills, just getting our feet work together. And, you know, it is, it's wide open right now. I mean, uh, of course, Avery and Mike Lowe coming off of playing last year, and they did a great job. And then uh, at corners, we got Stephen McClure and uh, Cameron Jackson, and they're doing really good. But, you know, the backup positions are right there, and even the starting positions are there for the taking. But, I mean, those are great players. You're going to have to work hard. But, I mean, it's all available right now, really. Will you play some nickel? Um, I don't know if I'll play any nickel, but hopefully um, – Maybe one of the other safeties will play Nick when I'll come in for them, but you know I don't know right now. It's just all about working on my feet, work, getting better at the game, studying and film, and you know just getting better every day. So uh, mentioning Coach Stewart, just watching the way he conducts drills, he seems like he's a real technician. That he, he he really breaks down every little element of the position. Is that sort of what he's been doing with you guys in spring? Yeah, definitely. Everything is like everything is like just so um, how you say it, just like. Precise. Uh, yeah, everything is just so precise with him. I mean, every little step, you, every little thing you do is just, he's on you about it. But if you do a good job, he's, he's going to be there at first to congratulate you. But if you do anything wrong, he's going to hop on you immediately. And, you know, it's just been great coming from uh, last year to this year. And Coach Stu just helping us and uh, getting our feet work better. You know, we came in, like, thinking we can back put on Even we were doing that wrong. So, I mean, we've came a long way as a defensive back group. And uh, Coach Stu's getting us right, definitely. How long does it take to translate uh, the, the technical elements to you actually incorporating it to what you do out there? Is, can you do it right away, or does it take a little bit of, little bit of repetition yeah, to I mean, make it, it work? It takes some time. you got to get out on the field and, and rep it a couple times, and you know, you got to come out and practice. But uh, you know, it's just all about getting the technique in your mind and getting you know, the idea of what you got to do. And uh, once you get that down, you know, just keep repping it and keep repping it, and then you're going to get better at it eventually. Can you talk a little bit about the, uh, the three freshman DBs, uh, Trey and, and Darius and Cameron? I mean, Trey, Darius, and Cameron are all great DBs. Uh, Darius is coming off his, his knee injury, and he's recovering pretty well. Trey, he's, uh, he was a late signing, and he's, he's doing really well right now. And then Cam, I think he's, he might have the best chance to play um, 
out of all the freshmen right as of right now because he's just coming along really well and just like buying into what Coach Stu is saying. You know, his feet, his footwork is really well. I mean, it's up there with the, the veterans on the team. So, I mean, if there's anybody I would single out right now, I mean, it would be Cameron Walker. But, I mean, all the other guys are doing well too. So, I know all the players have heard the media projections about fifth in the mm -hmm. Pac-12 North and 11th or so in the Pac-12. and and. Everybody says that doesn't make any difference. Where do you guys see yourself being this year? Where, how do you see yourselves competing as a team? I mean, uh, nobody on the team thinks we're going to finish last. I mean, if that was the case, we shouldn't even be playing the game. But, you know, we have high hopes for this year, hopefully getting to the Rose Bowl. But we all just got to buy into what the coaching staff is saying and, you know, just work together as a team and as a group. And just if we get everything clicking, we'll have a good season. Do you have a sense early in, in uh, fall camp how things are coming together if this team has the talent to really compete for the, the uh, championship? I mean, we definitely have the talent out here. It's all about just gelling together and clicking at the right time. I mean, we've done a good job so far of buying in. You know, I thought it was going to take a, a, a longer process to actually transition from the, um, all the coaches leaving since we got a whole new staff. But we actually been doing really well at it. Even like uh, in the classroom was uh, the first thing Coach Dykes came in and said was getting our grades up, and we've done a tremendous job at that. And, you know, we're just coming out here, and you know, if everyone buys in and does what we need to do, I, I project a good year for us. So the team had the best spring GPA that the, the team's had in, in at least five or six years. There, there seems to be a real emphasis on guys getting to class, not ever missing, keeping up with everything. Have they really been on top of you guys with that? I mean, yeah, we've been having a lot more class checks. The, um, the penalties for missing class is a lot worse than it was before. And, you know, I, I think just Coach Dykes has been really just pushing us to do well in the classroom. And it was uh, really an eye-opener when he told us if um, if we didn't get our API score up, that if we are eligible for a bowl game, then we wouldn't be able to make one. So, I mean, everybody just bought into that because we think we're going to have a good team this year and, and hopefully go into the Rose Bowl. And if we miss it for something like that, I mean, it would just be tragic. So everyone's buying in, going to class, and that was the main thing. Was just a lot of people were missing class, and that's the first step to getting good grades is uh, being in there and attending the class. So we've done a good job at that so far. we got to keep it going. We can't relax now. And uh, yeah, as for myself and everybody else, and we just got to keep pushing and going strong. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk, and good luck this season. Yeah, no problem. Thank